Here's a quick demo of the Plexus OBJ sequence exporter for Cinema 4D. Here I am in Cinema 4D and I have a very simple animation of this object bouncing. And I also have a camera that I've set up that is just watching the object bouncing. I've made the camera the primary scene camera. And um, I've also on the object itself, I've added a external compositing tag, which is this little guy here. And then I'm going to go into my render settings and I'm going to go ahead and save a save path. Even though I'm not actually going to save any actual renders, you still need to set this first. So I'm just going to call this um, bounce demo to save it here uh, anywhere. And then under compositing project file, I want to go ahead and check all of these checkboxes. And then I want to hit the save project file and I'm going to save it in the same place called bounce demo. Oh, very important. Before I do that, you just want to make sure in your output that you've set your settings to match what you're going to use in After Effects. In this case, 1280 by 720. And this is very important. Set the frame range to the frames that you want to actually export. So in this case, I want to export all 30 frames. So here I set this to all frames, which is 0 to 30, but you could have just set that manually. Once you've done this and saved this, you want to, by the way, set those settings before you export your AEC file. Then once I've done that, I'm going to go under File, Export, and I'm going to choose Plexus OBJ Sequence. I'm going to put it in the same folder and I'm just going to hit save. You can see it's an almost instant export. This is only because it's only 30 frames. If you have more frames, it's just going to take a little bit longer. Now, once you've done that, you can now come into After Effects. This is a fresh project. I'm going to go ahead and look for that AEC file. Now, in order be, for you to be able to take advantage of these AEC files, you need to install the Cinema 4D plugin for after Effects, you can get that at the Maxon website. So if you have that plugin installed, you can just go ahead and drag this right into your project file. And then if you open this up, you can just see it's got a color bars because we didn't actually render anything. But I'm going to turn that off and you can see here the null just uh, bounces like our object. I'm going to go ahead and add a solid. I'm going to call that Plexus. Notice my comp here is the same as what I had set the output settings in Cinema 4D. And I'm going to go under Robite Plexus and add the Plexus effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a OBJ object. And once I have that OBJ object, I'm going to go ahead and import OBJ. And I'm going to select the first of the exported OBJ sequence. Now there's a couple of quick things you need to do once you've set that. You need to first tell it that it is an OBJ sequence by clicking this checkbox here, OBJ sequence. And then under Transform OBJ, you want to go ahead and zero out these two, uh, X and Y, and then uncheck Uniform Scale and invert the Y scale. As you can see here, I see a bunch of dots. The, there's just dots because I need to go ahead and under my Plexus plugin here under Lines, I'm going to just increase the maximum distance so that I can start seeing the object. So here you can see... I can start seeing it. And if I scrub, you're going to see now that Plexus is now rendering this object. So if I go ahead and ramp preview, now I see my object bouncing. But the big key here is this is now Plexus rendering that object. Now I can go ahead and the camera here comes in with two keyframes. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the keyframes because I don't have a fancy camera move. But just to show you, I can now go ahead and rotate the camera here in After Effects so I can zoom into it. And um, as you can see, it's the, an actual real 3D object now within After Effects, which is really great. So you can use this OBJ sequence exporter to use it with Plexus, of course, but you can also use it with any other um, program that uses OBJ sequences. Uh, Trap Code released their version 2 of their form plugin that also supports OBJs and OBJ sequences. So you can use this plugin with form 2 as well. Finally, to install the plugin, it's as simple as putting the Plexus OBJ exporter folder inside of the plugins folder, which is in the same folder as your Cinema 4D application. Hope you enjoyed this demo for the Plexus OBJ exporter for Cinema 4D. Thanks.